Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome back to the iOS development channel, maxcodes.io. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize CA display link to get this little loading animation. Now, you might think this is very simple, and it is, it actually is way simple, but what I'm saying is, you might think that this animation is kind of dumb and everything, but the reason I'm doing this video is so that I can make future videos on this channel that use CA Display Link to create complex animations with little swirls and a whole bunch of other junk, right? So this is kind of the entry point to those videos, so I highly encourage you watch this. CA Display Link is super sick, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So first thing we wanna do is get the circle on the screen, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and type this all pretty fast, not explain it too much because it's just the anchors. And then once we get to CA display link, I will slow down and I'll explain it step by step and how it all works. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get a, a circle on the screen. So we'll say let circle is equal to UI view. And we will say circle dot translates auto resizing mask and constraints is false. And then we're just going to throw in a bunch of constraints here, like four constraints, super simple constraints. We'll say circle dot center Y anchor dot constraint is equal to view dot center y anchor make sure you activate it by saying is active is true and if you're here and you're wondering how i'm doing all these constraints and you've never done them before you can just search on my channel for ns layout constraint or go to the ns layout constraint playlist and you'll find videos explaining these concepts but for this video i'm going to keep it to ca display link okay so you'll see i put in a center x anchor as well now all we need is a width and height so we'll say circle dot width anchor dot constraint is equal to 100 activate that junk and I'm sure a few of you have already typed this out faster than me and compiled it and it probably crashed because I didn't yet add it to the sub view maybe you missed that I always miss that anyway height anchor width anchor let's go ahead and say view dot add sub view up here and we'll say circle okay so if we compile this we're not going to see anything because we don't have a background color but if you give it a background color like it's a circle dot background color is equal to dot red you're going to see a little circle that's the exact same size in the center of the screen okay now we can talk about display link all right so let's go ahead and look at this see if it's there and you'll see we have that we didn't give it the circle though so we'll say circle dot layer dot corner radius is equal to half the width and height so 50 and that will make it a little circle right if you do 49 it's still going to look like a circle but it's actually slightly going to be like ovally almost right but with that what we have a circle okay so we can cut that out and just say set up circle and then say file private func set up circle and paste that all in there okay okay so we're now ready to start using ca display link so let's quickly declare it let's save our display link as of type CA display link. And then let's just click on this and hit show quick help. I command clicked on it. And it says that CA display link is a timer object that allows your application to synchronize its drawing to the refresh rate of the display. So that's pretty much it. If we're able to use CA display link at, and it updates a method, it runs a method at the refresh rate of the display, that means we can create a whole bunch of awesome animations and that reminds me, I actually uh, want to show you this animation that you've probably seen before. I uh, have this one right here, right? It's the Snapchat style animation. Okay, so it's like the, the drag. Uh, I'll be making a video on this in on the channel in the future, but not for a good while because I actually, uh, I actually show how to do that in my animations course, which is linked in the description. And uh, the coupon code is YT homies. And yeah, I'm plugging my course, but what I'm trying to say here is that I put that in this course in one of the sections. So I don't want to uh, show how to do that on the channel yet, just because I know some of the people who buy my course courses might be upset by that. Anyway, we have CA display link ready to go. Let's go ahead now and let's put it on the screen. Okay. So what we can do is say display link is equal to ca display link and the target will be self the selector will be a method we're going to write so we'll say selector and i'm just going to say handle animate handle animations is good and then what i'll do is copy that and say file private func handle animations and then we have to mark it objective c because we're using a selector right if you don't know much about selectors or even NS layout constraint, just search these topics on my channel and I have videos on these other different things, okay? Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we need to add it to the main thread, the main run loop, because then we can 
run that method at the refresh rate of the display. Okay, so we say add, and it says registers a display the display link with a run loop. So this run loop is going to be the main thread. So it's going to update as fast as the screen, the refresh rate of the display updates on the main thread. And then for normal, as always, we just put something like default or nil. Don't need to worry about that parameter. That's on like a ton of classes. And then what we'll do is we will print value divided by 100, and then we'll declare a value. We'll save our value, CG float is equal to zero, okay? So what this is gonna do, and then we'll say value plus equals one. And I won't do it out of 100 yet, just because you're probably like, whoa, 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 you're going way too fast. But basically, what's gonna happen here is it's going to add one to the value and print it at, as fast as the display refreshes. So very, very quick. Okay, so if you compile that, that's what you're gonna see. Okay, so now that that's ready, let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna change the color. And it's really simple. Basically, all we wanna do is say, is say a box or a circle or whatever we called it, dot background color is equal to dot UI color dot red dot with alpha component. And then we want to put a value in here, right? But if we put value, it's always gonna be above one. And you already know that with alpha component is a scale from zero to one. So we simply just need to say value divided by 100 because then it will be on that right scale. So if I say value out of 100 on the print, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And if you run this, it's gonna animate from white to red. Well, it's gonna animate from red with alpha component zero to one. So you see that it animates over. So pretty cool. But how do we reverse it? And that's where we're going to introduce a Boolean value. Really simple stuff. I'll just say var invert, and then I'll say bool is equal to false, okay? Now what we can do is say, okay, well, if invert is true, then we want to minus one from it, okay? But if it's false, we want to plus one because we're not inverted. We still haven't reached 100, right? We haven't reached a full alpha. So what we need to do now is we need to say, okay, well, if the value is greater than 100, if it does reach 100, right? And 100 divided by 100 is one. So this is basically saying if the alpha component is one, then we wanna run this code, right? What do we wanna run? Well, we wanna invert it. So we'll say invert is equal to not invert. And then we want to switch it again when it is less than 100K or less than zero. And I'll run this, let's put parentheses around this so it doesn't break, and I'll run this, and basically what it's gonna ha what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from the zero to one, so it's gonna turn all the way red, and then it's gonna go away again, and then we wanna say is equal to not invert to switch it. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to go back and it's gonna be invisible again, okay? But then we need to switch it back, and that's when we're gonna add another if statement, okay? So let's see, it to happen, right? So you'll see it prints to one and then it starts going negative, okay? So let's see where it started. Okay, so you get the point. It's at one, or it's at zero, goes to one, and then it's like, okay, well, it's one, so let's invert it, and then it's running invert, so it's minus it, so it goes negative, right? Okay, so now all we need to do is say, okay, well, we also want it to switch when, or when value is less than zero because then it will switch back and go back to 100. Okay, so that should be it. Go ahead and compile that. Dang, I need some water, I'm gonna die out here. All right, and you'll see this, and it works, okay? So that's how you do it. All right, so that's it for this video, and I'm gonna be making some more complex animations on loading and how to make it swirl and all that in the next few weeks, okay? But for now, if you want to learn more about animations and see a display link and how to make that uh, animation with the drag refresh, this thing, then go check out my course in the description, right? Use the coupon code YTHOMIES or Max Codes, one of those, and you'll be able to get this course at the lowest price I can really offer it to you for on Udemy, okay? So go check that out. It's an animations course, and I'll see you in the very next video. See you next time.